Creativity is an addiction. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So let's turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. I am a poet. One that just happens to write in a forest. My forest is the rainbow forest right here in South Charlotte, North Carolina. When I enter this forest or any other collection of trees, I never know what I'm going to write about. Because these aren't my words. These are the lyrics from Rainbow Forest. Chapter number 362, April 1st, 2023. A huge early spring storm is building around us. Animal behavior within the forest is still pretty much calm. The hawks are screeching while the deer are gracefully taking one bite at a time. The only difference are the clouds. They're swiftly skating across the Carolina sky as if to be chasing or sternly marching forward. The month of March has always been about the wind. The sweeping out of winter to cleanse the ancient leaves still hanging on to the trees. To passing pollen and other seeds into other areas of personal growth. The human seas rain in the forecast, and what do we do? We cancel every plan we made. The lake and creek in this small southern forest are preparing their banks. Sudden downpours tend to become raging waters taking out whatever gets in its way. The wind is said to be this storm's dark side. How is it going to play out in this age of climate control out of control? The humans watch from their multiple windows, hoping for the sun to return soon. Storms. We all face storms. Even in our personal lives, we can predict when there is a storm building up. So we do what other meteorologists can't do. Meteorologists can't stop a storm in the south. We just embrace for the storm. But as human beings, when we have personal inside storms, what we do is we like to either wash it away, smoke it away, or we try to buy it away. We try to do things to keep us from entering that storm. But then sometimes those storms are so large and get so tough to deal with that you have to just sit down and deal with it in the way of embracing as well as you've got to listen to it. Because what brought you to this personal storm? Everything has a beginning, a middle, and a continuation. Your storms are part of a story. They're part of a journey. They will shape you in ways that will change the old ways, like the wind taking away the ancient leaves during the windy month of April. Learning how to cleanse your soil and replenish it with something positive is going to take some time. I've been a daily writer since July of 1994. I'm still picking things up off my floor. I'm still learning how this happened, why, and how can we change it so it doesn't happen again. But you've got to listen to your storms. Don't just stand at the window and watch the trees blow from side to side. Get into that mind, body, and soul of yours and not participate with the storm by making it more angry But to hear it and say, I understand, let's find forgiveness. Let's find a positive path. I'm Errol. These are not my words. These are the lyrics from Rainbow Forest.